Okay. It's a kind of a haze, but I still remember the Sundays when we sneaked into Sophia Town before the bulldozers tore it down and played jazz at the Odin Cinema with Kipi Moketsi and Hugh Masakela and Gwangwa with his trombone all alone. And there was Quella and Pata Pata and a little bit of Skokia. And I think of Soweto and a bit of Mr. Stephen Biko and the long, long way we still have to go. And I say one, two, a one, two, three, four. These may be all the cuttings from the actual trial. You know, because I use this in my book. Harold's trial. Oh, yeah. Jesus. How long have you had all this stuff? I've had it for years and yeah. years. He is alleged to have exhibited to the public a painting entitled My Jesus. This f the figure depicted in the painting was naked with a human body and with the head of an animal or some monster. That's in quotes. Here's George Lewin. Oh my God. And here's Osterhausen, who was the prosecutor. Yeah. That was a was a boarder in da Dad's hotel oh my in the God. East London Hotel. Jesus, a nude cross, the purchase of blasphemy. Anyway. And it's one of the blasphemy nonsense. She said she told police. That's Professor yes. Martinson. God does not corrupt <laughs> Reuben. Look at Reuben. Look at Reuben here. Can you see Reuben? Look, an artist of power. The work of Harold Reuben. Picasso art ugly, blasphemy witness. Detective did not know Da Vinci. He's, when they asked him, if I said to you Leonardo Da Vinci, who would you think of? He said, I'd think of an Italian illegal immigrant. <laughs> Is that right? It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. These letters are very important as far as I can understand. The obvious intention of the artist was to show how man was perverted, cried the blah, 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 blah. Well, oh, I don't know. Jesus. Ruth Revisited. That's the name of the song. It's much of fun. No, I should play a lot with Kippy. With Kippy and a pianist called um, Saul Claster, who died, I believe. And then there was Jonas Gwangwa. Oh, okay. oh, oh, the legend, Jonas Gwangwa, oh, yeah. great man. We used to go on Sundays sometimes to play at the Odin Cinema, do you know, in Sophia Town. Yeah. Before they tore Sophia Town down. Uh, that was back in the days before we Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to go and play the Odin Cinema on Sunday afternoons. We used to sneak in because it was illegal. We weren't allowed to be there. Oh. Anyhow, nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you too, sir. Such a nice gentleman. Have you heard of the, the old Odin cinema? Odin cinema. Odin. Odin cinema. Odin cinema, around yeah. this area. Yeah, it was, it was on here, the street. It was here in... in Sapphire Town. Yes. Odin cinema. No. No, no, you're too young to know. <laughs> no, I'm still very young. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think my, my, my father is supposed to know. Yeah. Maybe he would know. Yeah, but he's not around. He's yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good Thank luck you. with changing Cheers. the wheel. Thank you. Do you remember if it was in the corner of something? I don't know how we found the Odin Cinema.
you know, I had a funny, funny thing with you. He said to me, I like to play the blues with you. And I said, why? You know, I'm, I'm a spoiled white Jewish boy here in Johannesburg. Yeah. What do I know about the blues? You know, it's, and, and he said, no, it's, it's interesting because you play the blues like a white man. Yeah. These things that, I, you know, it's so many years ago. Mm. And I'm an old man already. Yeah. yeah. I'm all old. <laughs> so we, I said goodbye to him and also to Saul Plas. And, and he said, why are you leaving? And I said, I don't know. In a way, I feel impotent here and I have to get out. He said, we need people like you. I said, you don't need me. You're going to do it all yourself. Mm -mm. And he said, yes, you think so? And I said, yes, mm. you'll do it yourself.